Hello again people, it's Charlie and welcome back to the Chatting Leeds YouTube channel. Hope everyone's doing alright again as always. So then guys, it's your next instalment of Bite Size Leads on the channel. So before we get into it, smash that like button, please subscribe and let's get into it. So then guys, first up it's Jani Alioski. So um, it is common knowledge amongst Leeds fans at the moment that, you know, Al Alioski is yet to sign the deal that we have offered him um, in order to stay at the club. Um, and he is exploring his options at the moment. You know, there is quite a number of foreign clubs um, from Italy, Turkey, etc. that are interested. Um, but a new club that seems to be interested in him um, is CSKA Moscow, um, who are very interested and are even thinking about offering him a deal worth up to two million a year. Now that would be a very nice payday for him. Um and it's a chance to get some first team football as well as from next season, I don't think he's going to get first team football at Leeds. I think if he did choose to stay, it would be of the understanding that he is just going to be a squad player because if we do sign a new left back this summer, which we probably will do as it is a priority, um Alioski's just not going to get that game time because yes, he is a winger, um, if I'm honest, and the wingers we've got at the minute, he is not going to be playing on wing for Leeds United, especially if we bring in um, a certain somebody that I will be touching upon shortly. Um, and at left back, you know, he isn't a left back. He's done all right for us this season, hasn't he? But he isn't a left back. Um, and you know, this deal from CSKA Moscow could be his last chance at first-team football and his last big payday before he chooses to retire. You know, I would love him to stay at Leeds, you know, because he has been sort of that cult figure for quite a few seasons now, but I can totally understand his reasoning um, for wanting to leave. Um, and if he does choose to leave, then I wish him all the best um, in his future. So then, guys, up next, it's a Mr Noah Lang. So I have spoken about him on a previous upload about, you know, the interest from Leeds and if we sign him, the quality that it can bring to our team and everything like that. But over the last few days, it has been um, speculated that um, Lang is our number one transfer target for this summer. Yes, a left back is the priority, but I think other than that, Lang is the top priority and it's a deal that Leeds United are wanting to get done as soon as possible. I think Orta has realised that we are going to have to table a bid that they are asking um, in order to get that deal done, um, which does sound obvious, but, you know, some teams like to go in a little bit less than what these teams ask for. Um, but I feel like in order to get this deal done, we just need to pay them what they want and get that deal done. Um, and as I've said on that previous upload, what a signing it would be. Um, I think it'd be good competition for our existing wingers as well. Um, I think he can play as like a 10 as well. Um, but I think if we sign him, he'll probably be used as a winger. And, you know, we've got Harrison, Rafinha, Paveda, Costa at the minute. Costa, I think if we get Lang in, I think Costa will definitely go. Um, and, you know, if we bring Lang in, it's just that extra bit of quality that um, we'll need in order to be competing for the European spaces. And another top 10 finish, hopefully, fingers crossed. And yeah, hopefully it auto works his magic and this deal gets done as soon as possible. On to another target now then, guys, and that's Roman Parade. Leeds fans will be familiar with him. He plays for Brest in France. Um, we've been linked with him for some time now. But I am sorry to say, guys, that interest looks like it has ended now in terms of a Leeds perspective, as he does look set to join Southampton, which means Leeds are no longer going to pursue him. I wouldn't worry about it too much Yes. Southampton are getting a really top player there. Um, but, you know, we've been linked with the likes of Javi Gallen, Maxwell Corne as well. Two really good options, guys. Either one of those would be great additions for our team for next season. So hopefully we'll see one of them holding that Leeds United shirt at Ellen Road as soon as possible. Finally, guys, the last bit of transfer news I've got in terms of Leeds United um, for today's video is that apparently, according to some sources that I'm seeing online, Leeds United looks set to activate the release clause of Caligri midfielder Nafitan Nandez. Um, now, the 
Release clause is 36 million euros, which is about 30 million pounds. Um, he has been linked with Leeds um, for quite a while now, actually. Um, uh, I've heard his name pop up a few times. Now, from what I've seen of him online and things like that, he looks like a top, top talent. Really good option to have in the midfield area for next season, guys. And, you know, if Leeds pull this deal off, I think it's a real statement of intent as well. You know, it is known that Leeds, you know, we finished top 10 last season um, in ninth. But I feel like in order to go that extra mile and hopefully push for the Europa League places and things like that, we do need to be bringing these top talents in. Um, and I feel like, you know, as I've already touched upon, if we bring like Maxwell Corner or Javi Gallen in, if we bring in Nandez and Noah Lang, all these players would be really, really good to see at Leeds on top of the talent that Leeds have already got at the moment. I think if these players get brought in, Leeds can have another top 10 finish and hopefully, fingers crossed, we get the Europa League places as well. So yeah, hopefully those deals come off, guys. So then, guys, that brings us to the end of this video for today. Just before I finish, though, guys, I just want to thank um, everyone that has subscribed. We have reached over 200 subs on the channel now, guys, which was a goal that I was working towards for a while now. So I just wanted to thank you all for all of the support um, of late. All the Leeds United fans that are watching and liking and subscribing, it really does mean a lot. So, yeah, keep liking. Keep subscribing and I will see you in the next upload, guys. Thank you very much.